How many of you old timers like uh, fishing with a quill? I think it was back when we started fishing with them, it was made out of porcupine quill. But uh, I've got a bunch of turkey feathers and uh, been thinking about making some quills. So uh, I made up a few here and I think they're going to work out pretty good. So uh, may end up selling some. So y'all want to buy some quills? Just a little short video here and just thought I'd offer that. Uh, if, if there's a demand for it, I can make them. And uh, I don't know what these things would be worth to anyone. Uh, I mean, you can still cast them just like you would a cork or, you know, I grew up using them on a cane pole. But uh, So what do y'all think? Think they'd be a use for them? Is there a demand for them? These are approximately 10 or 11 inches long. And uh, I remember using these as a kid and, and uh, on up into my crappie fishing life. So what it is, I made these little wires here up. That's uh, it's got an eye on it. So I stick them up in the end of the quills, put glue on and wrap them up with a thread. Put some more glue on the thread. But what we do is uh, you take this thing and run your line through the eye here, and it'll have a little rubber band that, that slides up and down on the quill itself. And we usually done them, you know, put the rubber band up about halfway or somewhere in there. But uh, you get it here on the wall. So what happens is uh, this, this quill is sticking up out of the water here. A uh, few inches, but it's the least resistance of any any kind of a cork you'd use, and you could also see the bite really good. I mean, these things, you know, whenever they go down, you know, get him. But anyway, that's that's how the quill works. Another thing too for you uh, guys is bank fishing. Uh, people want to kind of. See where you're casting and stuff, you know. Be almost hid in the water because uh, you can't see them from, you know, a long ways away. They'd be looking for that big orange cork, you know, and you got that quill over in disguise. So, uh, yeah, if, uh, if there's a demand for these, let me know. Uh, you know, they are handmade. Uh, so, I don't know what the cost would be on. But uh, I've got some local tackle shops here. And, I'll probably offer those in those shops. So uh, I offer them on here too. So what do y'all think? Just give me some feedback on it. Especially you older guys. Uh, I know there's a lot of you watch this, this channel. So uh, uh, anybody interested in a quill? Comment below.